Thank you. Uh, it's been a good week of preparation and uh, looking forward to putting the finishing touches on it tomorrow. And uh, we're anxious and ready to play with, uh, with the bye week. As I mentioned, it came in a good time and we got a lot of good work in. But uh, with that, playing uh, not for two weeks, we're anxious and ready to get back on the field on Saturday and looking forward to a great game and a great challenge. So, uh, again, we're, we're locked and loaded and ready, ready to get going. Mark, at any point in this two weeks, did you address what you talked about all summer about finishing seasons better in the second half start with the last We did. Last week in particular, we talked about, you know, we, we had harder weightlifting sessions. I wanted to, you know, a big part of it was physically making sure we pushed them harder. We ran some hills. We, we ran. We trained. So we did address that. We wanted to use the time to refresh and get healthy when we could, but also to build strength and get stronger as the year goes on instead of just maintaining. Um, so that was a big point, and I think uh, we, we did make some progress in that area. Steven said he's back close to 100% and that the bye week was good for him to kind of regroup. How did he look in practice this He looked week? good. He had a really good week, and, uh, and uh, he's excited and ready to go. I think, uh, you know, Time was uh, was good for us, you know, as a as a as a team, uh, but in particular offensively, and throwing the football and getting our timing down was good. Coming off the bye week and having the late kickoff, do you have to worry about rust or a slow start at all? Uh, I don't think so. I hope not. We've we've definitely practiced. We didn't. Uh, we haven't been uh, just sitting around. The guys have worked really hard. Uh, but with that, I think just not having a game last weekend in itself gives you a little bit, uh, puts you a little better physically. I asked Denzel yesterday if he thought you all had done a better job against running quarterbacks. And he said he did, but to ask you. So did, have they done a better job? He said he, he did. Yeah, he yeah. said to ask you. Well, he knows I'm always on the spot. <laughs> but uh, no, we, we're, we're getting, we are, we're better. Uh, I think we um, very clearly understand the strengths and weakness of every call and what to look for when you have a dual threat quarterback. It doesn't mean you're always going to be perfect. That's why those guys. Uh, are on a lot of highlights uh, because they do that to a lot of people and again the, the stress that it puts you under because a lot of times you can always account for the quarterback with an extra guy but it puts added strength somewhere else or uh, weakness somewhere else so um, there's always a strength and weakness with every call and that's that's what makes it difficult. Torrey Baker, because of injuries and so forth, you didn't get much from him in the first half. How is he doing, and is he a guy who could really help you down the stretch? Yeah, we were just we were just touching on that with Dorian not too long ago. Uh, you know, we were inside here, just talking about him and uh, and getting going and, and having a strong finish. So he, he did he didn't start the way he wanted to. You know, he was unhealthy, and, and then we got back. We weren't throwing the ball around that much. We, we got to running the ball in certain games, but. He is back to full strength. I think he's very confident. And uh, we're looking forward to him making some big plays. I know I am. I'd like to see the ball in his hands, and I'd like to see him make some big plays for us. Well, Mark said so you thought maybe Dorian was pressing a little bit in that first game back trying to do much. Did you see any of that? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. I think he really, he's like that anyway. As you know, he, he's, uh, he, he, he's, a, he's wired. I mean, he, he wants to go out and compete and play. And uh, you can't always force that. Coach, you announced this today? Oh, yeah. Um, what was I going to tell you? I wanted to tell you uh, that we did have some, before you guys asked or saw around town, that De Niro uh, will be out uh, for the season. He has to have a, a procedure done on his left knee. He'll be out for the season. He should be fine for spring practice. Uh, the same with Kobe. Kobe Walker will be out uh, with a shoulder injury. So he's, uh, those guys are done for the year. Is that on that surgery yeah. for Kobe? Yeah. On that subject, how have your backup guys done, especially getting the extra, and how valuable was it to get the extra week to try and get them yeah, ready for more I think players? it was really important to, to get the extra week. And we really had to, uh, to work with those guys. And Jordan Bonner really got a lot of reps and KG, and uh, we needed the time. So that, that worked out good for us, uh, building some depth in that area. Even with those injuries, has that linebacker position kind of been one of the brightest spots on the defense? Yeah, the guys that, you know, that with, with, uh, with you're talking outside backers with Josh and Denzel, they've really done a nice job. They really have. We've mentioned that. They've played hard. and They go in and on the four down. They put their hand down and they're doing a good job getting after the quarterback. But uh, when, we're in, when, we're in our, when we're in our base front, uh, they've done a really good job. And, of course, inside they've been solid as well. And I think 
you know, those guys, the more experience they get, the better they're playing. So, you know, you can say that about the whole unit, really. The more we're playing, the more reps we get, the more, you know, we're coming together. Any other questions? Thank you very much.